The section of the Georgia law that has brought so much outrage from the left, it simply requires any person re applying for absentee ballot to include evidence of a government issued ID on their application. If a voter does not have a driver's license or ID card, that voter can use a current utility bill, bank statement, government check, paycheck, or any other government document that shows a name and address of this voter. If a voter somehow cannot produce one of these above forms of ID, that voter can still vote and cast a vote a provisional, provisional ballot. By the way, 97% of Georgia voters already have a government-issued ID. What I find extremely offensive is a narrative from the left that black people are not smart enough, not educated enough, not desired, desirous enough for education to do what every other culture and race does in this country, get an ID. True racism is this. It's projection of the Democratic Party on my proud race. It's called the soft bigotry of low expectation. President Biden said in, of the Georgia law, this is Jim Crow on steroids. With all due respect, Mr. President, you know better. It is disgusting and offensive to compare the actual voter suppression and violence of that era that we grew up in with a state law that only asked that people show their ID. This is the type of fear mongering I expect in the 1960s, not today. And by the way, literacy texts and poll tests were initiated by the Democratic Party. The intimidation of black Americans by the KKK was initiated by the Democratic Party. Jim Crow that I grew up in in the South of segregation was initiated by the Democratic Party. The soft bigotry of low expectation now projected on black Americans, not Italians, not Asians, not Polish, not Jewish, but only black Americans is being done by the Democratic Party. Where black misery today thrives and is prevalent, lack of education, lack of jobs, high crimes, the call for defunded police is all done in Democratic parties. By increasing illegal votes and not giving voice to those legal Americans, black Americans who are seeing and waking up today is the real tragedy of this process. We're seeing 18% of black men turn away from the Democratic Party because they're seeing that their vote can count and their future can matter. We're seeing twice the, the percentage of, of black women doing the same. A record number of Hispanics, Asians, and gay community members doing the same. So no, all Americans express very simply expect is fairness, security, to walk away from the poll booth knowing that my, count, my vote counted, if we didn't win, we work harder next time to make sure my message, our message resonates. But to call this Jim Crow 2021 is an insult, my friends. For those who never lived Jim Crow, we are not in Jim Crow. And for black Americans to go out every single day and vote the way we, we feel we should is a right that we should have and not being demeaned by something 60 years ago in which we had no, no right to do any of the above. Thank you very much. We will now turn to our panel of witnesses. We thank the members for attending. Today, we welcome five witnesses to testify, to testify about the latest assault on the fundamental right to vote.